Long Beach, California is one of the most diverse cities in the country along with Oakland, California. We have people there from over a hundred countries and uh, the largest Cambodian population outside of Cambodia, for example. And so there's incredible diversity and as a port city there's also a lot of poverty, uh, a lot of toxicity in the air and in the soil. And so there's a lot of issues for populations to overcome that are new to our city. And food is this beautiful thing because it brings together those communities and it's something that they can really use to welcome others in and use to find their identity as well as to work on their own economic development. So it's this great tool. So I partnered up with another resident, Tony D'Amico, and we applied for funding to the California Endowment to open up the Long Beach Food Policy Council, bring everyone together for a SWOT analysis and see what they thought should happen. And very quickly, we came up with the scheme of organizing ourselves among the concepts of eaters, feeders, and seeders. So our eaters were our consumers. They didn't know where to buy fresh food. Maybe they couldn't afford it. They didn't know how to cook it. They didn't know where they could share it. The feeders were our restaurants, our chefs, our hospitals, our schools, institutions that are feeding a lot of people and needing help with better supply chain issues, um, regulating bad actors who are you know, bringing in too much soda and other things. And then our seeders were our ab urban agriculturalists, um, our local bakers, our makers, and people who needed a pathway to legalize their food businesses so that they could provide more fresh food in the environment. Each of those subgroups needed different things that they wanted to work on. And so we formed groups around those topics so that we could elevate the food system from all sides.